bird here. Now then, folks, um, it's Christmas. Got the old uh, balls up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm having a chilling Christmas this year. Um, I'd just like to say a few hellos to people like Leela in Germany. Hello, Leela. Thanks for your message today. I got that today. Uh, Merry Christmas. Lynn. Gerd. Um, Sue. Anyone else? Oh, Lion. Yeah, there's Lion. Nearly forgot you there, Lion. Eh? Ah. <laughs> So I'd like to wish everyone a happy Christmas, um, White Welly Gang as well, anyone who knows me, anyone who comes on my live videos, I'd just like to wish you all well while I'm having a coffee, it's Christmas Eve, um, children are out playing and stuff, making snowballs, oh shit there's no snow, <laughs> so um, let me just have a... Slurp of coffee, eh, yeah, folks? Anyway, I'd like to uh, really, really thank Steaming Lion. Um, I was really depressed towards the end of the year. I've had a fantastic year doing my videos and you guys watching and stuff, and I was really depressed. And uh, Steaming Lion happened to have my address because I posted something to him. Um, he sent me so much to cheer me up. He sent me a fucking donkey through post. Fucking donkey, I'm like, what the fuck? I was depressed as hell. I heard this donkey go whop on the floor. Postman delivered it. Turns out, he adopted a donkey for Magnet Man. So Magnet Man and his children can go see his own donkey. It's called Harbin. Now Harbin, He's having a wonderful time of the year. Harbin likes carrots. He likes having his chest scratched. He's got a face like a teddy bear. Can you see it? His little teddy bear face. Oh, what a little cutie. Well, cheers, Lion and Lion's missus. Look, there he is, assing about. <laughs> because I'm going to go see Harbin. Look, adopted for me. Oh, Lion, you made me day, mate. In fact, you made me fucking year, mate. I was fucking gutted. I was down on my ass, and this plopped on my mat, and I had a smile the size of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lion, you're an epic dude, mate. Thanks very much. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. We need because... to interrupt this programme for the Christmas broadcast. Christmas broadcast? What the fuck? Hello! And here's this year's Christmas broadcast, but I've had Covid, so I'll use a deeper voice. Where the bloody hell's me corgi? <laughs> oh! Hello! <laughs> Sit there, Shep. <laughs> yes, this year in January, tampon tax was abolished. Well, that was a lot of funny in about. <laughs> Facebook removed the poke feature. It's okay, me and Philip poke the servants. In February, Captain Tom Moore walked around his garden. Lovely. And the Duke and Duchess of Sussex fucked off. <laughs> they went on Oprah Winfrey and got punished. They're not having my jewels. Prince Philip died. Oh, poor Philip. Can't poke anyone no more. And there was an investigation into Boris's flat funding. We swept that one under the carpet. We got it. In June, there were zero deaths in the fake pandemic since we first made figures up. In July, London was flooded to get rid of the peasants and clean all the Tory shit up. August, Prince Andrew begins an epic game of hide and seek. We don't know where the fuck he's gone. September, panic buying and lorry shortages 
Maybe we could get Prince Andrew and Mask can get him to help out. GlaxoSmithKline made a malaria vaccine. Cool, because they're a UK company will tax the bastards. And it just tested and trace collapses because of fake tests and the Conservatives breach lobbying rules. I couldn't make it to remembrance as a corgi ate my crown. Storm Barra was God punishing the Tories for all the shit they've done this year. The Mirror newspaper leaks Boris's party photos. You should not read it, you should read reliable newspapers like the Sunday Sport, the Sun or the Daily Mail for truthful news. So that's the speech this year. I hope you all good my peasants and I'll see you all soon.